Okay, so David, what kind of clubs were you in? Or are you in, I guess? So club wise, I would say, well, Hannah suggested to really not be in everything because you're trying to um, really get adjusted with being on campus, being away from home, and trying to focus on your education. <laughs> and I would say thank you, Hannah, because literally it saved, it saved me, because I have a oh. tendency to like run everything. Everything that I um, like to do, I just like to like be involved and if possible, like be in charge. I've changed. I am a workaholic. In a good way. But for a good, it's I mean, for a good cause. Yeah. It's for a good um, cause. I just, I remember in a good way. vividly. So, for those of y'all who don't know, like, David and I, you know, we've been friends for a couple of years. And in high school, I would take, I would drive him to school with me. And every morning, it was like him complaining about some sort of club he was in. And I'm just like, why are you in the club if you hate it so much? He's like, no, I don't hate it. And I'm like, okay, but then why do you only complain about it? Why don't you say good things about it? <laughs> so, I had told him at the beginning of whenever we started college, I was like, don't overwork yourself because at the end of senior year you were like a hot mess. I haven't seen you that much of a hot mess before. So like let yourself get used. <laughs> let yourself get used to college okay. life. I know I'm calling you oh, out. I'm sorry. Wow. I was a hot mess too. It makes you feel any better. I was. Oh my god. In the last years of high school, I was, I was a hot mess. But at least I. Yeah, it's okay. We're we a hot, hot mess together, we were guys. The hot mess duo. Trademark. <laughs> but um. <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So for me, for clubs, like I actually, I kind of, I didn't take my own advice actually, because while David was over there actually like, not being in that many things, I became treasurer of a club my first semester of college, which, <laughs> which like, so I didn't take my own advice, but in my defense, I hadn't really been leadership in a long time, so I'm dead, yeah, we but um, now I'm actually vice president, so that should be really fun, yay, but um, but uh, it's, it's it's called it's called Best Buddies. You might have heard of them. They're like a um, international or organization, and they help with uh, kind of integrating those with special needs, like learning disabilities and intellectual disabilities, into like a general education society. I guess is how you would say it. Because um, no, I don't hate like the word normal. Normal, normal's not a thing. But uh, for college in particular, we just help with the community, and there's um, we help out with those who aren't in, in, in like grade school anymore, but they go to like vocational schools and everything that have intellectual learning disabilities. So it's really fun. Everyone's so sweet. I've never met so many nice people in my life. Like, it's all the sweetest people, but I love that club. It's worth it. Like, I don't care much about the leadership thing. I care more about them, so. And that's kind of like um, the mentality that I would kind of go in. So the first year, what I did um, was RHA, so Resident Hall Association. I was the coordinator of outreach. So basically what my job was, um, so we had a board. So you called all the coordinators and the president um, would kind of be like the leadership team and everyone else would be members or interns. And I'll be in charge of them. So interns will help us, the board, create events for um, for a hall. So I was luckily the first coordinator of outreach for Joe Green Hall. Go, uh, go, uh, <laughs> go Jags. So basically, <laughs> so basically, the we had like a chant, right? And it's five, six, seven, eight, and then, uh, I forgot the the chant, but I would literally always do it it's like five, six, seven, eight, and then oh, I forgot. Oh, go to Jags. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> but um, but basically, we just hosted events and made it. We tried through our different programs to make um, Joe Green more of a family environment, bring everyone together, and we did that for the most part. I remember the first. Um, for event we had was having lemonade and it's hot like then in the summer is hot and i remember that i would wear like sandals my chacos and i would have literally uh, a kind of a tan that would look I'm like so i had dirt on my feet i'm dark 
I'm dark, and I'm you can kind of see what tell, I'm talking but, about. Yeah, but, we're like opposites. Um, you make me look paler when I'm next to you. <laughs> we're we're completely opposite. Literally, we flip. Well, we didn't flip. I'm not. I was never pale, <laughs> but like what Hannah was talking. But we literally flip. Um, she was she um was in fewer clubs than I was. And she took on yeah. more this past year <laughs> than I did. So, it was just a yeah, fun, a fun but, um, thing to kind of know. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Ooh, I forgot it. Oh, yeah, what I was going to say is about how, like, when you were talking about how you wanted Joe Green to kind of have like, the community feeling like a family. I actually, like, one time I got to visit David in at UNT. And uh, we made, yeah, we made spaghetti. Yes, she kitchen. did. My room didn't have a kitchen. So I would have in the cheapest store in there, but... Uh, we didn't. We had like a dining hall and stuff in the building, though, so it was okay. And I have. I live in a better dorm now, so it's all good. But um, it was so cool because there's so many people down there cooking with us, and like I would help. I was helping this other guy try and figure out how to make um, some sort of pasta, even though he was Italian. So he kept talking about how he was Italian. Yeah, it was so really funny. Because he's like, I'm Italian. I can do this, and he's like, then he's yeah. like, I don't know how to do this. The Mexican <laughs> telling the Italian how the to cook. The white person telling the Italian how to cook. <laughs> Literally the. Because I, people that, at Joe Green Friends, um, they know that I usually make spaghetti and meatballs. Um, usually I actually make the meatballs or I just have it kind of like just normal ground beef and I add its condiments and stuff like that. But um, and then when Hannah came over, um, I made more because I was like, oh my God, Hannah, um, Hannah was coming over because her brother Ben had a competition. So I was like, hey, you just stay over and like, yeah, you had to you fell asleep watching the, video Shane Dawson. It was the first star. time. <laughs> I fell asleep in the middle of the video. Oops. Do you remember that? That was a hot mess. We, we fell asleep watching Shane Dawson. Huh? At least I did. I fell asleep. In the middle oh, of yeah. The video and David just put up with it. <laughs> so shout out. We love Shane. Um, it was his um, beauty. Um, Oh, what's it called? I forgot the name. Uh, I'm, I'm, I promise you, I'm a true fan. Don't come at me. Um, no, like, we had, it was like this. It was the doctor's race that he did with Jeffree Star. But, it was that one. Because we were like, oh, look at that. It was, so, it, was, it was cool. But. Yeah. Which, but yeah. Literally, I have the, the intro the intro of the, dead, the series really. on my phone. It, it's literally, because it's a good song. I was like, oh, what's this? But yeah, it was really fun at um, Joe Green. But, um, yeah. Everyone there was super nice, so. It's a yeah. hotel. Um, so how about. Oh, let's talk about parking. Because I remember. Oh my god. At UNT, the parking is hell there. How do you, I don't know how you survive. <laughs> so, tell me this. Hannah can actually park at her dorm for a cheaper price compared to me? First time. So, UNT has this first time college student and if you ever go to UNT literally it's I-35 main campus and the stadium I have to park on the stadium it's hot I'm telling you the buses even though it helps a little bit but no no it doesn't work and literally the the only other parking like area that I could get is the garage which is $700 and it's even though it's right across the street from my hall I shouldn't yeah, pay that for me, much for parking to park. T Hannah Hannah tell them like tell them how much how much like you pay for semester two hundred dollars I think right there I just walked freaking like, close. like a couple of feet and I'm at my door and I'm at the door of the building <laughs> it's even better at my new door yeah I have literally it's even better. It's okay. It's even better at my new dorm. Go I mean, ahead, like, sorry. the parking lot's bigger at my new dorm because there's more people there. But, um, well, the dorm I had second semester because I'm having another one this next semester. But actually, next semester it's even it's even smaller because we have our own individual rooms. So, uh, yeah. So our parking room is even better than. We have an even smaller parking Lucky. lot. But um, yeah, I remember at UNT like we had to park in like on a, like this one street that everyone parks because I didn't have a parking pass because so I was a visitor and. Really? That shit Did they like over it? Yeah, it doesn't exist. Oh my god, I'm so dead. Eminent um, domain. 
It <laughs> literally. Well, mm. no, they're building well, apartments like, there, um, I think. Gotcha. So that well, street's like, like so closed annoying off. though because, um, I don't know. Like, also, like you have a giant highway separating your campus. For me, it's like there's a part, there's a highway part, like on campus, like like or like a small like road, but like none of it feels so like urban, like uh, Denton does. So it doesn't feel like I'm gonna get hit over hit by a car if I cross the street right there. You know, I can cross in the middle of the street, even like, not the crosswalk, even though I still always wait for the crosswalk. Yeah. But I can cross. I can literally just like walk across the street, and everyone will stop and wait for you. That's how it works there. So, because that's right there. That separates the park and like the, one no. of the buildings. So, we just walk. Yeah, and people can yeah, drive. Well, like, people can kind of drive, but not really. There's still like, a lot of accidents yeah. that happen there. But the traffic there is like nothing in comparison to Denton. Denton traffic is pure hell. Because I actually drive through Denton on my way home um, from Lubbock. And uh, it's like pure hell whenever you get to like that one. What's the main road called there? Like, I... I-30, I yeah, it's hell. I-30, so, I-30, so basic, so, they, so, Hannah's talking about Denton Roads, mm -hmm. awful, complete trash, uh, compared, because we, we live in, like, um, Dallas-Fort Worth area, so Plus, we don't live, like, in the big city Denton, park, we don't live, like, in but, Dallas. Um, also, for me, like, yeah, I actually live farther live to my high school than David does, and, um, I basically kind of in the middle of nowhere. Some people get lost down here just because it's enough a lot of space. Even though I'm used to like country roads that have a lot more space than this, we have an acre each. Um, and uh, so like out here, it's like there's no traffic at all. So in Wiley, there's a little bit, but like it's really honestly like not that bad. Um, so I don't know. It's like I always hated Plano traffic because Plano tra traffic is hell. But yeah, and, but Denton, Denton traffic is like. Just as bad as like West Plano. Damn, it's just. It's horrible. Yikes. It's because like the roads are not, they're not like new, it's old. Um, mm -hmm. There's a lot of construction to fix it. They finally added a third lane. So near the um, Golden Triangle Mall, if y'all um, live in Daniel, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but. Literally, that would literally cause so much traffic. Now they added finally that third lane, so there would be less traffic. But traffic, yeah, you're gonna yikes. It's just, I feel like would Lubbock, because I feel like Lubbock is just, it's a bit, it's not, I wouldn't say it's um, smaller. Not really. Or, I just think it's less but I just urban. Better. Uh, I mean, like, it's still fairly urban, but, and there's parts of it that are yes. way more, like, urban, kind of like how Dallas would be, but, um, like around the tech campus, you can basically walk anywhere you want. Uh, at Denton, in Denton, I feel like if I if I'm walking, like I feel like I'm gonna hit by a car. I don't know why. Like that's just how I felt in those streets. Uh, but in yeah, but like in Probably. in Lubbock, at least around the campus, I can walk wherever I want basically. Um, and there's like also like there's somewhere there's always a the fast places like is this one road university uh, like University Road? It's like the one main road and there's like everything you could ever want down there so um it's it's pretty easy even though i still drive because sometimes it's a long walk from the dorm i'm at um but uh but it's still not not bad uh it just it feels a lot safer uh but there is like how short was it something else was a mistake my brain just blank sorry david <laughs> um but yeah. Oh yeah, but like actually, like, I feel like Lubbock drivers, even though they may, they may not be, they may not, it may not have as much traffic. They're a lot more reckless than people like may may assume. Because even though like there's a lot of really weird turn-ins, like there's a lot of old roads in Lubbock that are so bad. Like there's one parking lot for this one like copying like photocopying place that I had to go to to pick up a textbook because it was a handmade textbook. I don't uh, who knows. Uh, I had to, I had to have it for a class. Um, the parking lot it's so bad that like i thought like I, I was gonna bust a tire in the parking lot that's how bad it was it was horrible and like well one part of it they have like you know the speed bumps yeah. they have speed humps that are so big that like yeah. i feel like it's gonna it hits the bottom of my car it's bad 